So the short-haired bumblebee was last recorded in the UK in 1988. Um, this is a long tongue late emerging species, and these are the species that have really declined in the UK. It's not very often in, in conservation that you actually get a second chance to reintroduce a species, so we're very excited that this species we are able to reintroduce. The reason that we've gone to Sweden to do the reintroduction is that they've got a really good population of this bee. What we did is we looked for suitable forage that this bee likes to forage on, and um, which is mainly white dead nettle at this time of year. And we walked along areas that it was present, and with our nets we, we put these over the bees and then just put them into small uh, vials and, and kept them in my fridge. We could keep them at 45 degrees, which is the hibernation temperature. So basically they're, they're standstill and they're going to torpor, which means they won't use any of their energy and it reduces the stress in the bees. Once we'd finished collection of all of our bumblebees, we then took the ferry back from Denmark to the UK and we took the bees straight to Royal Holloway University so they could spend two weeks in quarantine. So basically what's happening in quarantine is that we're doing faecal screenings of the bumblebees to test whether they have any parasites so that we will be releasing healthy bees, but also we have a responsibility not to introduce anything into our native bee population here. So any that do have any parasites um, in their faecal screening will not be released. The queens are being released at RSPB Dungeness here in the south of Kent. We've chosen this location because it actually has five of the seven rarest bumblebee species here in the UK. And when we bring back the shorthair bumblebee, that would mean it has six of the seven rarest. And we've chosen it because the amount of habitat that we create will benefit all of these rare species as well. Okay, so this is a patch of tufted vetch here, which is going to sort of start to flower probably in about two to three weeks' time. But this is a real favourite of, of many of the bumblebee species. So I've been working extensively with farmers, landowners and conservation groups to recreate, maintain and manage flower-rich habitat to enable this species, when it comes back, to have lots of extensive areas to forage in. It's really exciting to bring these bees back to the UK because we haven't seen them or recorded them here since 1988 and it's amazing that this species is going to get a second chance and can come back and hopefully establish itself.